Hello and welcome to this video on finding the point of intersection of straight lines. So let's say we had this problem, we want to determine the coordinate of the point where the lines with equations y equals 2x and x plus y equals 5 intersect. Now what we could do is we could just draw these two straight lines and see where they actually intersect graphically. So if we draw those We've got y equals 2x. Remember that we can just choose two suitable values of x. So if x was 0, y would be 0 because y is 2 times 0, so it would go through 0, 0. And if x was, say, uh, 4, 2 times 4 is 8. So if x is 4, y would be 8. So let's say 4, 8 is here. And we can join those up with a straight line. And let's label that equation. So y equals 2x. And we also want to sketch this second line. So x plus y equals 5. Uh, let's choose two values of x. If x was equal to 0, then 0 plus 5 equals 5. So y would have to be 5. Let's put it here. And if x was 5, say, then y would have to be 0. 5 plus 0 is 5. So when x is 5, y is 0. Let's put that here. And we've got this second line here. And let's write the equation on again. So we want to find this point of intersection where the lines cross, which is here. Now, if we had a kind of proper grid, we would be able to see where that point is. But do you remember that each of these equations is like a membership rule? So it dictates whether a point is allowed to belong a line. For example, if I had the point 5, 0, if I substitute an x as 5 and y is 0, it obeys this equation, it obeys this membership rule, so that point would be on this line. So the line with this equation consists of all points which satisfy this equation, and this line consists of all points which satisfy this equation. So therefore, if one both both lines, it must satisfy both equations. So if we want both equations to be true, effectively we're solving simultaneous equations, aren't we? Simultaneous equations where we want to find an x and a y which satisfies both equations. So if we write these equations here, y equals 2x, x plus y equals 5. Now, you're used to using uh, substitution probably with solving simultaneous equations where, do you remember, we get either the x's or the y's the same and then we add or subtract the equations. But there's another method called substitution which will be particularly effective here. Now, what that means is if you can see, for example, that y is equal to 2x, that means I can replace this y, I substitute this y here with 2x. If y is 2x, I can replace that y with 2x. So let's number these equations. And then I'm going to sub the first equation into equation 2. So we've got x plus, well, we said the y was 2x. So we can replace it with 2x equal to 5. And then if we simplify that, 3x is equal to 5. So that means that x is equal to 5 over 3. And you remember, to then find the y value, we just substitute it into one of these equations. Now, the first one is simpler because we've got y directly in terms of x. So subbing it into the first equation, we have y is 2 lots of that. 2 lots of 5 over 3 is 10 over 3. And that works. So we know, therefore, the point of intersection is 5 over 3, 10 over 3. And that is the coordinate of this point here. That's 5 over 3, 10 over 3. So basically, to find the point of intersection, you just solve the two equations simultaneously. Let's do the second one. We've got the first equation, y equals x plus 2. The second equation, another line, 2x plus y equals 6. The lines intersect at A, and L2 crosses the x-axis at B. Determine the area of triangle OAB. Now, you don't need to usually sketch it, but let's say I do, just so we can see graphically what's going on. We've got y equals x plus 2. It's going to look like this. And we've got the second one, 2x plus y equals 6. Now, if x was 0, y would be 6. And if y was 0, x would have to be 3, because 2 times 3 plus 0 is 6. So it looks a bit like this. And we want to find this point of intersection. Now, let's solve them simultaneously. So we've got y equals x plus 2. Let's call that equation 1. And we've got the second equation, 2x plus y is equal to 6. Now, because y is a subject to the first equation, it makes more sense to substitute that one into here. So we're going to sub the first equation into equation 2. So we've got 2x plus y, and y is x plus 2, is equal to 6. Simplify that. 3x plus 2 is 6. And then we can minus 2, that's 4, and then divide by 3. So x is 4 over 3. And substitute that back into y. So y is equal to 4 over 3 plus 2, 
which equals, well, that's 4 over 3 plus 6 over 3, which is 10 over 3. So we know, therefore, the point it said, they intersect to A. So A has the coordinates uh, 4 over 3, 10 over 3. And it says L2 crosses the x-axis at B. Now, had I not already worked that out for you, do you remember when you cross the x-axis, the y value is 0? If you want the you make x 0. If you want the x-intercept, you make y 0. So in the second equation, if we make y 0 into L2, then we get here 2x plus 0 equals 6. And so x is equal to Three, which I already worked out earlier. So we therefore know this is three, we've got this point here, and we want to find the area of triangle OAB. Well, that's O, the origin. So we want the area of this triangle here. Now, do you remember that the area of a triangle is just half times base times height? So we've got area of OAB is half times, well, we can make this the base here. So we can see that base is a length three times the height, the perpendicular height, and can you see that height there is just the y value there, which is 10 over 3. So times by 10 over 3, and that comes to just 5. So that is the answer. The area of that triangle is 5. Now I've got one final test your understanding question, and it's this. Determine the coordinate of the point where the lines with the following equations intersect. y equals 2x plus 3, and x plus 2y equals 26. So you may want to pause the video at this point to have a go at that. Right, let's do it. So, we've got these two equations, and remember we just have to solve them simultaneously to find the point of intersection. So we've got y equals 2x plus 3, equation 1, and we've got x plus 2y equals 26, equation 2. Now, because y is already the subject in the first one, let's sub the first equation into the second. So we get x plus 2 times y, so that's 2 lots of 2x plus 3, substitute it in, equals 26. Let's expand out and simplify, so x plus 2 lots of that is 4x, 2 lots of 3 is 6, then that becomes 5x, um, that's 5x, and let's subtract 6 at the same time, so we get equal to 20, so x is equal to 4, and then you just substitute the 4 back into one of the two equations, it makes more sense to sub into the first because we have y as a subject. y is 2 times 4 plus 3, which is 8 plus 3, which is 11. And therefore, and don't forget to do this as your last step, we need to write it as a coordinate, don't we? So we know the point of intersection is 4, x is 4, and y is 11. So they intersect, these two lines intersect to the point for 11. Well done if you got that right.